Hello, it's Laura. I am taking uh, inventory in between storms here. Uh, I figured I would dig out our bee shed, our garden shed, and take a look at what we've got in here. You can see, let's show you. The snow was uh, up quite a ways. I had to dig down through some ice, hammer out some ice chunks to get into here, but I wanted to get in. We're supposed to get quite a bit more snow. We got four or five inches already. We're supposed to get between 10 to 15 inches between now and Thursday, a day and a half out. Um, and after that, it looks like we've got a couple more storms lined up. So who knows what this is gonna look like in the next week. But I'm in here, our bee shed, garden shed, which I have commandeered as the bee shed. And I am taking a look at some of our supplies. It's quite a mess very mousy. My plan is I have a couple sets of frames that are hanging up here. These are decent if I do some repair work on them. They need a little help. They have wires that need to be restrung and they need some comb cleaned out but I can use those for this coming season if my bees make it through winter. But I have a ton of other frames that I've piled up down here like this one. Oh, not that one. Those are some honey supers, but a little farther back, I have a larger frame size. Those are brood frames, and those are, they're in really tough shape. I can't put a center piece onto the top of the frame. That center piece is a guide for where the bees build comb when you're going with foundationless frames. So I'm gonna bring those out, and the ones that are beyond help, I'm gonna chunk up, break apart, and then we have our crew setting up some of our maple taps for sugar maples coming up within the next week or so. And we are always scrapping around for kindling and these have wax on them and they will make fantastic kindling. Let me grab one really quick. That center groove has just enough wax and propolis in it where I really can't get a guide set back into it without a lot of work. I end up just purchasing new ones and I have quite a few. So I will be breaking some of those up, bringing them back and then putting them into our kindling pile for our evaporator. We'll be setting taps within a week, not all of them, but on our sugar maples that we're tracking from one year to the next for production. Those will be putting taps out shortly and we will probably be needing wood and kindling before we know it. Uh, so I wanted to grab these out before the shed gets even more buried in the snow that is moving in in a little bit. I always put this off and then I get too busy with school groups and don't have a chance to come out and work on this. So I'm here today. It's giving me a chance to go through a bunch of this stuff and get it cleaned up for when beekeeping season arrives, but also it will help out some of our other efforts when we are starting to cook sap down into syrup. Here are the results of the cleanup. I got a whole bunch of frames broken down and ready to go for being burned in our evaporator. All right, till next time, I'll see ya, bye-bye.